Note-taking apps are getting better and better these days. And there are two that are leading, that's no surprise, OneNote and Notion. So I'm going to compare both of these note-taking apps. So you'll be able to figure out what aspects you prioritize and choose which one is best for you. So stay tuned. Now, my name is Anna and I make videos about personal project management, digital planning, and productivity. So I'd like to welcome you. Now let's get started. First of all, let's focus on the main differences between them. Notion focuses on databases like functioning tables, gallery, timeline, board view, and so on. Tasks can be moved across databases and you can create subtasks within those tasks. So basically it's focused more on data collection and great organization within your notes. Whereas with OneNote, it's focused more on traditional note taking, except of course on a digital level. Whereas with OneNote, it is focused more on traditional note taking on a digital level, of course. It has the pen slash stylus feature where you can also draw and write over written text and images, which is a huge thing for people who prefer that kind of flexibility. It also has fonts and an infinite amount of horizontal as well as vertical space to write on. So that's the gist of it. So first of all, let's start with Notion. So the pros with Notion are databases, which is so beneficial, what they're known for. You can link sub pages and create, create sub pages within pages. It has a handy sidebar on the mobile app. It has more structure, which can be considered a pro or a con, depending on what kind of person you are. To do's can be drag and dropped into databases and it has great spreadsheet functionality when it comes to a note taking app. Now the cons, however, are there's no offline access. So if you're a person who doesn't have data on their phone and you want to access your notes when you're offline, this will be a problem. You can't draw with a stylus. Also the fonts, they're very limited. So if you're a person who likes to customize your fonts a lot, I'm sorry, but it's very limited. Everything is basically a database. You can't just add a simple plain text table. Also, when it comes to the ability of searching for text within a page, that is not an option either. Now, when it comes to OneNote. So first of all, the pros. I have to mention this because this is the way I actually found out about OneNote was that they have a free drawing option. If you're a stylus user or you have a tablet and you like to draw graphs and basically have a more traditional way of writing, then this is a huge plus. Now they have lots of fonts as well and they have offline access. When it comes to their membership, it's just completely free. It also supports handwriting recognition if you're into that and you use that kind of feature. There is also a password protection option for your sectors of your notebooks, as well as the ability to have text written everywhere and anywhere, and how the page is infinite vertically as well as horizontally. Now when it comes to the cons, first of all, the OneNote app lacks a sidebar. However, from my personal experience, comparing the OneNote app to the Notion app, I prefer the OneNote app more. It also has no databases because that's not the focus of this app. And unlike Notion, it does not have any integrations because Notion has a lot of options to integrate with other apps, whereas OneNote, not at all. And when it comes to the table option, it is very, very, very basic. And yeah, if you prefer more of a structure, OneNote is definitely more messy looking, I'd say. At the end of the day, these two apps are very different from each other with different priorities. So it depends on what your preferences are. So in summary, I'd say that Notion is for someone who prefers more structure and more data collection and organization. And maybe like a mini stepping stone towards getting more used to, I would say, project management apps because it does feel like a project management app and a note-taking app got together and made Notion. 
that's what it feels like to me. Whereas with OneNote, it's more for a person who loves creative freedom and the option to customize a lot and are more traditional when it comes to their note taking, for example, a stylus. Or they're just trying to go a more digital route and they were a big note taker when using physical notebooks. I hope this video made your decision a little easier. Let me preface by saying that both of these apps are great for planning and organizing your life. I have playlists for both planning in OneNote and planning in Notion if you'd like more tips on how to use either of the apps. Which one do you prefer, OneNote or Notion, and why? I'd love to get your opinions. If this video was helpful to you in any way, please give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Ciao!